We got a lot to I'm talk just, about here. Doing a deep dive. A deep dive on the jobs <laughs> report. I mean, look, the bottom line is the jobs report was way over anyone in the market's expectations. Yeah, and you right. saw that. The Dow's up 140, 150 points. I don't know where it is at this second. Right. But, I mean, there was an immediate, you know, boom reaction to it. Yeah, well, everyone's starved for good right. um, news about the, about the job market. And, you know, they, they got what they wanted today. Right. I mean, the headline number, 242,000 jobs. It was a huge number. The unemployment, unemployment rate, rate went down, down 8.3%. Right. And this is after, you know, most of the data in January was really kind of tepid. You could kind of, you know, you could send it one way or the other, depending on your, your bent. Right. This one, at least from the headlines, it's impossible to really do. I mean, 200, look, it's 242,000 jobs. Got 200,000 last month. Yeah. You keep getting numbers above two. It's a very good sign for the economy. Yeah. Uh, it's a very good sign for the economy. There's no other way. I know mean, you're smiling because you're like, Vino, what the hell is this? Right? No, there's no other way <laughs> to describe it. I've never seen Paul so, I've never seen you so enthusiastic about uh, the job I'm, market I'm, before. The job market? or <laughs> I'm enthusiastic about a lot of about things. The job yeah. numbers. Yeah, uh, listen, and we are we're stretching a little bit because we're trying to get Kathleen Madigan mic'd up here. I think one, one thing I would point out too: the the market got an extra kick when the ISM at services index right. came out, and that was better than Another expected very, as well. Another very much so the, better yeah, than so expected. The services side of the economy looked looked like it had a pretty good month in January as well, and yeah. so. That gave uh, just a an lot of good data kick. for the the bulls today for the market to help break it down even further. Dow Jones Newswire's columnist and economist and accomplished <laughs> bacon maker Kathleen Madigan. Howdy. Uh, okay, look, we we saw these numbers this morning. Everybody was surprised by them. What did you make of them? Um, they're real. You know, there's no. It, you might want to try to break them down you know, for seasonal problems or we'll something, try. but yes, I know you guys <laughs> tried. That's, that's we'll try. great yeah. for that. But it, it, it's a pleasant surprise, and it's and when you go back and look at how we got some negative surprises in the summer and fall, it 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 stands to reason that we'd get this pop up one month, mm -hmm. you know. And December also stayed above 200,000. The question going forward is, is this the trend? Right. Or is it going to slow down? And I'm in the slowdown group because I just don't see the economy growing fast enough to support this kind of job creation. Right. What about some of the underlying things that we looked at were there that we saw in the report in terms of the sectors that added the jobs? I noticed a couple of things. Yeah. Um, department stores supposedly in January added 19,000 jobs. You had uh, bars and restaurants <laughs> adding 33,000 jobs. Um, you know, those I mean, don't look, seem like it, the most high-paying well, jobs, and I'm right. suspicious I mean, yeah. that, that department stores added 19,000 jobs in January. Well, what? in fact, what it probably uh, reflects is that the seasonal factors haven't caught up with the way yeah, retailers got, um, handle four, holiday five, hiring. Six, they hire fewer people now, so they have fewer people to lay off in January. So when you adjust the numbers, you get this, uh, it looks as though they're adding people in January. And what it really means is that they laid off fewer people. The okay. bars and restaurants okay. were hungry and thirsty. I do. <laughs> well, everyone's yeah. going out this weekend, right? The bars right. will be pounded this weekend. But I mean, look, it, it raises a question of what kinds of jobs are we creating? What yeah. kinds of well, wages are we paying these the, people who are gotten together? And look, uh, if you're out there as a bartender, a waiter, a waitress, it's great, honest work. I'm not taking anything away from it. But if you are going to have the kinds of jobs that you can raise a family on, that you can well, buy a house on, that right. you can go out there and have a lot of disposable money to spend, we need to have better jobs. Well, I totally agree with you that, that it's not just the quantity of jobs, it's the quality of jobs. Average wages did grow, which is a good, a which good, is a good thing. thing. But, you know, most households are still, um, their income is falling behind inflation. And, you're, you know, the... And, but that goes back to the long-term challenge that the U.S. economy has, is yes. that our educational system and what kind of uh, kids are coming into the workforce and what kind of training and education do they have. Um, and this idea that you graduate from high school, go work in a factory, and you can raise a family That's on your so salary. Long gone. Yeah. 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 Well, yeah. Let's talk too about some of the longer term implications too. You, you saw that the, the, the number of long term unemployed didn't really move very much. Yeah. You saw uh, about a half a million people, the labor force expanded by about a half a million people. But we're also seeing the, the actual pool of people increase, so the participation rate actually fell. Yeah, there's, I, there's a little caveat to those, those changes because the December numbers and the January numbers aren't really. Uh, comparable because there was an adjustment in the um, 
to coincide with the, the population growth put out by the census. So um, there is a table, and I don't have it right here, uh, where the BLS tells you absent that adjustment, this is what the numbers would look like. And, and oh. they're much more in line uh, with, you know, 150,000 joining the, uh, well, yeah, I think it was 175 uh, people joined the labor force. 250 of those got jobs, according to the household survey. And the people who, there is actually a decline in the people who are not in the labor force by 75,000. Yeah. So, uh, you know, that's, that's good. Did we, did we smooth out this whole thing about the couriers last month that was such a big this deal? This is what was interesting. Did we, did we figure that out? Right. Uh, the, the courier number only fell um, by uh, one and a half thousand. But so. it looked like they had taken away completely that 40,000 gain that we supposedly saw in December with yeah. the revisions. Yeah, but, um, but obviously because December was revised up a little higher, Th those numbers came somewhere. You know, the, the right. hiring came See, somewhere and, else. Yeah, because uh, okay, in December they said forty-three thousand couriers and mail carriers, whatever yeah. it was, were high. It was a big, big outlier number. D it was curious. So now yeah. you're saying that, th and they're temp jobs, right? They were seasonal jobs. So now yeah. you're saying that maybe they weren't. They were, they weren't laid off, <laughs> and but maybe they didn't even exist because the December number yeah. was revised away. <laughs> I, I have to be a little bit. I have to be a little bit cynical about all these numbers I'm seeing. They seem some of them seem just a little outlier. That's well, what I, I gotta, that's what you know. I said. You know, the, the, we are. I, I doubt that we're going to continue to see job gains above yeah. 200,000. But if we see 150,000 coming forward, I would be happy. Take and it. and I think yeah. the you know the drop in the unemployment rate I think is uh, right. was really surprising. All right. So net net. We'll say it's good. Yes. We'll say it's good. Little, little, little asterisk red flag. We'll say good. Kathleen Madigan, thank you very much.